Pourquoi est-ce que vous Why did you do this coup? The country had been at a standstill for a long time. Some Malians were suffering. There were many problems within the army. There was too much corruption. I don't like the expression coup d'état. It was not a coup. But he was forced to resign. That's what you say. Did he say that? He said, did I have the choice? He didn't have the choice because he saw the people were suffering. But that does not mean we forced him to do that with a gun. We are meeting different parties, and then there will be a transitional council. Its leader will be either a soldier or a civilian. So I can't tell you when we will hand the power over to civilians because the council must first be set up. What will happen to President Keita? That's not up to us to decide, the judicial system will. That's not our job. What is your link with the M5 opposition group? There are no links. We are not being manipulated by a political party. But, like the M5, you were unhappy with President Keita. What they were saying was the truth. It doesn't mean we were with them. We had no contacts with them, but after the resignation, we have held talks with them. The international community has condemned what it calls a coup. Are you not afraid of sanctions? Yes, we are afraid because sanctions would hurt the people. Will the current situation not favour jihadist groups? That is what we fear, that is why we are asking our partners to continue to help us bring stability to the country.